Man, 210 Boxing TV here with Dan Cortez. A second round knockout. You had a rematch with a guy that you went the distance with. Mm -hmm. What was the difference in this fight? You know, um, the first fight, you know, I he was kind of an awkward style. So, you know, we boxed him and mm -hmm. we got the kind of the easy decision. But this time I was like, you know what? I, I had a goal to take him out and that's what I really wanted to do. So I was like, I didn't want to let it go the distance again. And so this time, you know, I, I stood in the pocket. I sat down on my punches. You know, I really had to make him feel uh, what, what kind of power I had. And, and you know, thank God we got him out of there in the second round. Even in the locker room, I felt like I was watching your left hook and you were turning, you, were, you know, you had that twerk. And yeah. you know, you're moving, you're twisting your hips the right way. Yeah. And I was like, man, he's, he seems like he got some more power. Was it just like you're just sitting down more and just putting more authority on the punches? Yeah, you know, every fight I think I'm, I'm picking up my, you know, my power, like, being more smart with my power. And uh, and today I want to want to show people what I got a little bit. What was the finish like? Because I love your left hook to the body and your left hook upstairs. That's like it seems like those are your the left your left is your money is your money punch. Yeah, yes, sir. What was it like when you finally heard him and then he backed up to the ropes and you didn't let him off the hook? You closed it. No, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to show people too that you know my killer instinct and as soon as I saw him hurt, I was like, you know what, it's my chance to take him out and and I did everything it took to take him out. So yeah. we had a loaded card. You were the main event. What was it like closing the show where people were like Cortez, Cortez? And oh, oh man, it was it was amazing. Bro. Uh, you know my my crowd never. I never fails to you know show out and, and it's, just, it's just like I'm just thankful for you know having a uh, a fight like headlining at a, on a very good card you know everybody everybody on the card was great you know I, thankfully I got to watch other fights and they all did great and uh, you know it's it's amazing. What'd you recommend to tonight? Uh, eight eight and zero oh, five knockouts. Hopefully a lot more knockouts. Like I yeah, said, yeah, Dan. you yeah, showed up. You showed the. You showed the power tonight, yes, and just sitting down. Was this one at 118 or 122? This, was, this one was at 118. Yeah. And you feel just more comfortable at 118? I feel. I feel. I feel real strong at 118. And uh, you know, I, before the fight, I wasn't sure if I was going to stay here. But you know, how I felt tonight, I think you know maybe we can run it. Run it again at 118. All right, Dan. We can see you again in June, hopefully. Uh, hopefully as soon as possible. You know, we're going to stay ready and. And, you know, hopefully we get another fight soon. All right, man. Let the fans know where they catch you on social media. Any message you want to leave off with tonight? Yeah, I just want to thank, you know, everybody that came out, you know, show support. I want to thank Alvino, um, Texas Boxing and Brawlers, you know, for giving me the opportunity to, to you know, sh showcase my skill in front of all my fans and all my family. And uh, I just want to say a big shout out to all of y'all. Y'all can follow me at team underscore Cortez on Instagram, you know, and just follow the journey to a world title. I appreciate you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you.